Welcome back to Two Millennials in a Farm. It is definitely May in the South because it's freaking hot outside. And of course, yet again, for another year in the row, all of our outdoor projects somehow landed in the middle of the summer. I don't know how that keeps happening. We're either dead of winter or middle of summer when we do stuff outside and it kind of sucks. But I am revamping the chicken coop. I'm getting started today. I am going to take some of the metal siding that's on the coop currently and spray paint it with Rust-Oleum. And then for the wood, I'm gonna put some wood stain on there and rebuild the chicken coop door and we're making a huge pasture fenced in area for them. We used to let them free range the 80 acres, but a bobcat sniffed them out. We lost half of our chickens in like a week and we had to get them back in the closed in run, which they currently have. So they're still free range, but they're enclosed with the poultry wire to keep them safe. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add a pasture area with a five foot fence. Hopefully they don't fly over it, but even if they do, we're hoping that that'll add some extra barrier of protection when they come back and jump in it um, to keep foxes and other animals away from them. So that's the plan. All right, so you can see one side of the coop behind me right now. This side is covered in the corrugated metal. Um, and I'm gonna wipe off all the dirt with an old towel, not a nice one, <laughs> but an old one get it all clean, dry it off, and then I'm gonna spray paint it with, with some cans of Rust-Oleum. I bought the Rust-Oleum made for tractor implements. Not that you need to buy that. Anything that'll adhere to metal would have been fine if you're doing something similar. Um, but I really wanted the Caterpillar yellow. I don't know why, I just thought that color was so cool, and I know it's made to touch up your tractor and implements and it's like three dollars more a bottle but it was worth it because i don't know i'm like really excited to have a caterpillar yellow shed i don't i don't know that's cool anyway chickens probably aren't nearly as excited as i am about the painting part but they are going to be excited about the fenced in pasture we're giving them um as an extension off of this completely enclosed run so this enclosed run it has obviously the roof covered too and it's been keeping out raccoons, which have definitely tried. We have a gray fox that's tried to get in here. We've caught all this on the trail camera, by the way, which we'll have a video series of our trail cam coming up later. Um, haven't seen any bear mess with the chickens. They, they don't really seem to care. They're mountain lions. I think they got bigger fish to fry, literally. Um, so anyway, I'm just yapping, but this will protect them from aerial predators. Once they get out in that pasture area, You know, it's just different. I don't, I don't know how safe that's going to be, but I want them to be able to run and stretch and be as free range as possible, have as much space as they can. So it's worth a shot. We're going to see how it works out. I'll implement the same predator deterrence, the humane predator control I did at our last property. And we had them out on a pasture and we are fine. Um, once we implemented predator guard lights, motion sensor spotlights, and those sorts of things. Typically chickens put themselves up right before dusk and dawn when the predators are going to be out anyway. Um, so we should be good. Yeah, I'm just chatting with myself. I'll probably edit all this out. All right, so I got an old towel that we used to do like oil changes and tractor maintenance and crap. Um, and I sprayed it down with some hose water and now I'm gonna wipe down all the loose dirt off of the metal before I spray paint it. Side one's wiped down and ready to spray. Also, I just want to point out, I'm in a very well ventilated area, if you can hear the super loud winds we have. And I'm going to shoot the chickens upwind before I start spraying to make sure nothing hits them or gets in their lungs or on their feathers or anything like that. So I'm going to herd them over here and then spray this. 
Now I'm working on spray painting the roof. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, if you offer it, I'll let it happen. <laughs> I told them they couldn't paint the roof yesterday because I didn't want to be liable. <laughs> what, Bill?